Hey guys and welcome to my first video on 2024 as well as my first walkthrough in a while which is about a new CPPS called the Club Penguin Experience. Now if you don't know what this CPPS is about, it is an AS1 HTML5 Club Penguin private server which just released about a few weeks ago on April 13th and I'm obviously excited to check out this CPPS since I don't think there has been an AS1 CPPS since Antique Penguin shut down. Anyways, I really love the homepage of this game as I love how simple and amazing it looks especially since this CPPS takes place during the 2006 era of the original Club Penguin. The link to the game will be at the description below and of course you guys don't need to download since this is HTML5. Alright here is what the login screen of this game looks like and honestly it looks really amazing. I haven't created an account yet so that's what I'm going to do right now so be right back when I finished creating my penguin. Alright I'm done creating my account and I'm going to pick the United States region even though I don't live in the US. And nice I landed at the snow forts and it's really cool to see what the snow forts looked like before the clock tower got added to the place in 2007. And damn the music of the snow forts is so damn amazing to listen to even though the original Club Penguin didn't add much music to their places back at 2006. Anyways here is what the newspaper looked like back at 2006 and it's really cool reading what happened back then. And if you guys noticed what the voice I am using at this video. I decided to switch from using Balabalka to using natural readers at a website because I am kinda sick of having to use a virtual box to edit videos. And yes I am no longer using Sony Vegas to edit my videos and I am now using CapCut to edit them. And yes obviously this is my first time using CapCut and obviously I am a noob at it so far which is why the recording of this video isn't cropped properly that much but that's alright. I honestly think I'll get more experience with editing videos at CapCut as I go on and yes guys. I'm definitely back to making more CPPS videos ever since I stopped making them since like July last year since I just got bored of making them and there hasn't been any CPPSs that really interested me back at 2023. Man 2023 was really such a dead year for this channel so hopefully 2024 will make this channel active again. Of course the reason why the Club Penguin experience really interested me over the other CPPSs currently running is because it is AS1 and you guys know how much I love AS1 after making a ton of walkthroughs about Antique Penguin. Yeah I do miss playing and making videos about Antique Penguin as it was one of my favorite CPPSs before it got shut down last year. Hopefully I gain more subscribers again since I stopped gaining subscribers at this channel after I stopped making videos since July last year. Also it's odd but really interesting that this game is having a music jam already since a music jam party didn't happen until 2008 at the original Club Penguin. Hopefully I can meet the Penguin Band. Anyways I really love how classic the map looks back at 2006 and I think sled racing is implemented at this game but obviously I can't play it right now since this game doesn't have much players yet since it's still brand new. Hopefully this CPPS gains more players at the future. Find 4 is also implemented at this game but obviously I cannot play Find 4 as well since this game doesn't have much players yet. Ice fishing is implemented at this game and I decided to why not play this game along with the other mini games that are implemented at this video. Now normally I don't play mini games during the first episode of a CPPS walkthrough but since I haven't made a video since last year, why not go crazy so that more people can get more interested at this video and so more people can join and play this game. Anyways I really love how the title screen of Ice Fishing looks back at 2006 before they updated the title screen at 2011 on the original Club Penguin. Also it's weird how the puffle is colored blue instead of pink at this game but maybe it's just a bug. Who knows. Anyways I'll skip ahead to the part where the mullet appears so be right back. Is it me or is this banner edited from saying to watch out for the crab to saying good job keep going. Maybe this is what the banner looked like back at 2006 before they changed it at the original Club Penguin, but I'm not so sure. Leave a comment down below if you guys know. Alright I skipped to the part where I got 60 fishes and the mullet appears. For some odd reason even though the mullet appears, the other sea creatures like the jellyfish, crabs, and sharks still appear even though they should disappear when the mullet starts appearing. 
Now obviously this makes catching the mullet even more harder and annoying since the crabs could cut your line. The shark could eat your fish before the mullet. And the jellyfish could zap your fishing line. Now I'm not sure if making it harder to catch the mullet was actually harder back in 2006 since I haven't started playing the original Club Penguin until 2008 or if this was intentional by the developers of the game to make it harder. Honestly I like it when they make it harder since it gives us the players a challenge. Anyways I will only play the normal mode at this video and save the extreme mode for a later video. Not sure if the extreme mode was part of the original Club Penguin or it is a custom mode at this game. It's really weird that the Lodge Attic does not have Find 4 even though they already added Find 4 to the Ski Lodge. Really love the music at the Lodge Attic by the way even though there wasn't much music at most of the places back then at the original Club Penguin. If you notice anything different at the beach and the lighthouse, it's that the exterior and especially the interior of the lighthouse is darker than normal which is really cool. There's also a simple boat instead of a stage where you play instruments inside the lighthouse. The beacon is also different as there is no light bulb at the middle and there is no telescope and there is no jetpack adventure. Man, I remember why I used to love making CPPS videos before 2023 as I love to talk about interesting facts and history about each places especially at my old favorite CPPS which is Antique Penguin. Anyways at the sports shop, there is a penguin style catalog which is also located at the gift shop by the way which you will see later on at this video. I really love the cover for the penguin style catalog which is obviously custom and cool and I can't wait to see what the May penguin style catalog will look like a few days from now. All the items in the catalog are pretty cool and if there are any secrets then feel free to let me know in the comments below. I also like the music at the sports shop which I think is also heard at the same place on Club Penguin Legacy and Club Penguin Journey and I think it's from one of those old Club Penguin DS games which is very cool. Anyways right now I'm playing Hydro Hopper because obviously I want you guys to know which mini games are implemented at this game. I will only be playing one round though because this game is infinite and I do not want to waste a couple of minutes playing this mini game. Hydro Hopper is still very fun by the way. I really love that the April Fool's Party music is playing at the town and I really love the fact there is so many different music being heard at most of the places at this game despite it being an A. S1 CPPS. Anyways next mini game I am playing is Bean Counters and I really love how the old version of Bean Counters looked before they updated the mini game back at 2010. Now don't get me wrong, I do love the new version of Bean Counters as well especially the secret candy or jelly bean mode, but it's nice to be playing the old version of Bean Counters especially since this is an AS1 CPPS. Anyways I'll skip to the end whether I win the game or lose all my lives so be right back. And unfortunately I lost all my lives since it was impossible to avoid all the obstacles but that's alright. I think Mancala is implemented at this game, but I cannot play it anyways since there's not much players at this game, but that's alright because I don't know how to play Mancala anyways. Honestly the most complicated mini game at Club Penguin ever in my opinion, and also I don't think the books exist yet during this timeline so that's why they are not implemented yet. I really love the music playing at the book room, and I like how it's different from the music at the coffee shop. This is what the dance club looked like in 2006 before they added stuff like DJ 3K, dance contest, and the green puffle near the staircase to the dance lounge and it's really cool. Obviously this is what the dance lounge looked like in 2006 before they added the thin ice minigame at 2007. Man it's really nice looking at all these old rooms before they got updated into their AS2 and AS3 designs. Anyways right now I'm playing Astro Barrier and I'm only playing one round because I do not want to waste too much time playing this mini game. I'm not that good at playing this mini game anyways and I never ever reached playing until level 40. The highest level I remembered beating was like level 30. This is what the ice rink looked like back in 2006 before it got updated at 2010 and it's obviously really cool. 
There's the pin at the gift shop, which I think is called the plant pin, and unfortunately, I already got it due to a bunch of failed recording attempts. See, I was using Opera GX instead of Firefox when I first tried recording the video because I thought Opera GX would be less laggy than Firefox, but unfortunately, it's even worse than Firefox. The plant pin is really cool though and I really love the Big Wigs catalog before they decided to just remove the Big Wigs catalog and add the wigs to the penguin style catalog. Told you it is the same one from the sports shop. Anyways this is what the plaza looked like back in 2006 before they added the stage and before they added the pathway to the forest and that's really cool. It's weird that the Love Your Pet catalog says Winter 2007 at the bottom even though the game takes place at 2006. It's also weird that there is no Puffle at the Adopt a Puffle catalog cover, but that's probably what the catalog looked like back then, but I'm not so sure about that. I'm also not sure if Puffless are implemented at this game since I haven't tried adopting a Puffle yet, but I'm pretty sure it works because otherwise they wouldn't have added the Adopt a Puffle catalog if they weren't implemented yet. Maybe I'll buy a Puffle at the next episode depending on my mood, and if there are any secrets at these catalogs then feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, next mini game I am playing is Puffle Roundup, and like with Astro Barrier, I'll only be playing one round so that I won't waste time. I do know that the blue Puffless are the slowest, so they'll be the last Puffless to round up. And yes, the timer at Puffle Roundup during the AS1 era is lower than the later eras of the original Club Penguin, which sucks since I get less coins. Yes, I'm honestly glad they extended the timer of Puffle Roundup to like 100 later on at the original Club Penguin. I did remember saying that the Puffle Roundup music is like one of my most favorite Club Penguin music at the Antique Penguin walkthrough episode about the Puffle Roundup minigame, and honestly, that's still true as I still love listening to the Puffle Roundup music. It's weird that I didn't spawn near the exit at the pizza parlor, but that's alright. It's also weird that Pizzatron 3000 is using its modern design from 2011 instead of its classic design, but that's alright as I think they'll probably update it to its classic design in the future. Anyways, this is what the iceberg looked like back in 2006 before the Aqua Grabber minigame existed back in 2008, which is pretty cool. This is what the dojo looked like before Card Jitsu existed and I really love that it's playing custom music from CP3D. Man I miss playing CP3D. I remembered playing the game back in 2021 before it got shut down last year. Anyways this is what the mine shack looked like before they added the recycling plant in 2010 and honestly that's really cool. I already got the hard hat for the same reason I said about the plant pin earlier and I am putting the hard hat on my penguin since I don't have any clothes yet. Last mini game I am playing is Kart Surfer and I obviously really love that it's using its classic design instead of its modern design. Unfortunately, I cannot use the top arrow key a couple times when my penguin is on top of the Kart Surfer. Not sure if that's intentional or if that's a bug, but I hope it's a bug. And nice I was able to finish the minigame and not lose all my lives and I got 317 coins which is cool. Anyways the cave looks pretty cool and I'm 100% sure that the music as well as the decorations are taken from the underground party which I'm not sure if it will still be around by the time I upload this video but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Unfortunately you cannot check old newspapers at the boiler room yet but that's fine since the game is still new. Anyways, last thing I'll do before I end off the episode is to check out the catalogs at my igloo. The cover of the Better Igloos catalog looks pretty cool and I really like the items at the catalog. I'm not sure if there are any secrets at any of these catalogs, but if there are, then feel free to let me know at the comments down below. Maybe I'll decorate my igloo at the next episode. Who knows? Last catalog I'm checking out is the Igloo Upgrades catalog and honestly I really love the cover for it. Not sure if it's custom or not but it's still pretty cool nonetheless.
Anyways, that is it for the first ever episode of my new CPPS walkthrough, and hey, there's the first ever player I've seen at this game so far, and that's awesome. Anyways, I think this CPPS is pretty awesome so far, and I think this has a lot of potential to be my most favorite CPPS ever. I really love that this is an AS1 CPPS since those are very rare and the fact that this is HTML5 instead of a downloadable client. I also love that there are different music playing around the island despite not much music playing at most places during the early era of the original Club Penguin. I honestly think this has a lot of potential to be a very popular CPPS and hopefully one day it will have as much as or even more players than new Club Penguin, Club Penguin Journey. Club Penguin Legacy and whatever other popular CPPS is currently still running today. Definitely recommend you guys to check out this CPPS especially if you guys are a fan of the AS1 era of the original Club Penguin. Anyway see you guys in the next episode.